Have you already done your Barbara Walters thing already? You know what? Just wait one second. I have done that. Walters? I did a while ago, yeah. Oh, you did a long time ago? Yeah. Yeah. That's always an enduring. It's, what's it last? About three hours? She has her little system down that she does before oh. she beats you up real good. Does she ask all the rough questions in the end? You know, it's funny. I don't think she's had trouble with it. I'm, I'm a pretty easy interview. I'm pretty honest, so she doesn't... Some people, I think she has to wear down. It's like yeah. going to deposition. No, we've actually always done it just for an hour. Oh, really? Okay. I know some people she's done... Uh, she kind of works them over and gets them really used to being there. Then they ask all the tough she questions, does, yeah. you know, and they sock yeah. it to you, you know. Yeah, I think she's probably more confused with, I answer anything <laughs> happily. Well, then she's, that's right. You know, some, not everybody's that forthcoming. So, yeah. I was reading so much about you. You're on every newsstand right now. I don't know how many interviews you must. Helped her into it. Oh, you do have to helicopter. It's in the jungle, it. yeah. Oh, that'd be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> well, like a regular Siegfried and Roy kind of deal here. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. I'm, I'm going to speak. Okay. Let me know when. Definitely one of the most interesting women in the world. I think that's true. Because I've read so much about you this week. And you say you're very forthcoming. You generally pretty shoot straight. You don't try to be politically correct. You just say what's on your mind, right? Yeah. So it get you in trouble sometimes? I, it has, but I am happy to just, I can remain really honest and open. I don't have to censor myself. And I think that's a dangerous thing to do. So Isn't I'm it ready. so much easier to be honest? Yeah, I think <laughs> it really so. It really is. You had, I mean, I, last time I saw you, I think we did Pushing 10. And man, <laughs> your life has gone a long way since that's those times mm -hmm. you ever think your life is moving so fast you don't get a chance to see where you are um i used to have that problem but now i have a son and and he kind of i slow down a lot every day with him and so he's helped me with that he's given me a kind of um every special moment and everything kind of centers and calms down at the end yeah. of the day centering is the right word for children i have children and grandchildren now oh, yeah? and really try that's a whole nother experience <laughs> you're way too young to find out but it's a it's a neat experience too uh, movies, where, where are they in your life now? I mean, were they, they everything for so long, your whole life? I mean, you got up in the morning, went to bed at night thinking about movies? Um, I suppose. I mean, thinking about trying to find... Um, I went through a time where the characters I played were more interesting than my own life. They had more. They, they were having experiences. So anytime I'd want to do something, I'd do it through a film or I'd be... I was, uh, I was desperate to try to analyze myself and to communicate with people and to tell these stories. And now, um, now my own life away from films is more interesting to me. And, hmm. And, um, and I learn more from that than I do from a film set, so. Is it true that some people want to be a life of pretend because they don't like themselves, so they found it more interesting to be the other person when they're pretending? Yeah, I think part of that, and I think you, you forget that you can have your own experiences. You forget that, uh, I think when I first read this script for this film, I, I really wanted to, to understand this film, and, and then uh, the film didn't go. And I had this moment of really wanting to, having, uh, to, to have that experience, and I realized, well, I'll just have it. I'm a human being, I'll have it, I'll go to Africa, and, and it was, but, but I had almost forgotten that I could just do that as a, as, a, as a human being and as a woman, as opposed to, I had to wait to do a film, so um, it was a pivotal moment in my life, realizing that. I mean, Audrey Hepburn has done this for the United Nations, and you're doing it, isn't it something that really changes your life and gives you a whole other perspective yeah, on the world? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I didn't expect it to. I did. I just wanted to understand what was happening because I couldn't. I didn't. I don't read a paper well. I need to go into an environment. And, and uh, but the first time I did, I, I went to Sierra Leone and it um, it shocked me and it changed me. Um, doesn't it make you really? That most people just don't want to get that sad. It doesn't make you. It makes you sad, but it it also makes you realize that you have nothing to be sad about. And how dare That's you true. cry yourself to sleep at night when they're surviving? and they're smiling and they're able to cope, um, you should stay strong for them and see what you can do to make it better. So. One thing I liked about this movie is you don't try to wrap it all up in a bow in the end and say everything's going to be okay. It leaves you out there to leave the theater thinking and talking, which you don't do after many movies. You know, you're just there over with. Yeah, I was surprised. We won't say what the ending is, but I was surprised that there was never a discussion from the studio to, to change the ending or to wrap it up in a nice little, you know, that, that we did leave it as it was. Because you can't. Because you can't, and there isn't any any nice answers to, to these things. They're 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 complicated and they're messy, and and it's a big problem out there. And it, it hasn't gotten better. Those three situations in the movie are not that different. And love is never perfect. And love is never perfect, but I do think they have a pretty perfect romance, as far as I'm concerned. Um, they they both believe in the same things and they inspire each other. And whether they're able to be together or not is kind of secondary. But they are so instrumental in each other's lives, and I think that's what love should be. So if I come over to your house in Cambodia, I'm going to get eaten by a tiger. Is that probably a good chance of that? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> or a big snake or something else. There's a lot of, yeah, we, there's, 
There's, it's been an amazing experience. We, we, uh, we have this home in the middle of the jungle and we have it near an, a, an animal sanctuary and we're mm. working with wildlife people and, and um, so we helicopter and we've built these houses on stilts and, and uh, it, it's, it, it's great, but it is, I, I have these, we had to demine it and we found 48 landmines. You detiger it and delandmine it. Delandmine it. And, 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 I tell you what, who needs a security alarm when you got that kind of stuff on? Yeah. <laughs> You're an interesting woman, no doubt about it. Angelina Jolie, thank you. Thank you. Right. That must be different. Let's helicopter in. Watch out for the land.